Good evening. It, another Wednesday, another episode of Trailer Talk. Hey guys, it is Christian here, and today I am with my seventh episode of Christian's Trailer Talk, where we have five trailers to talk about, five main ones. We have Downton Abbey, A New Era, Turning Red, American Underdog, Don't Look Up, and Spider Man No Way Home. For answers, please like, subscribe, and tell me what did you think of this episode. But before we get into our main topics, I just wanted to bring up some other things that happened. Not real, the first one not being a, really a trailer, but like a first, a behind the scenes first look, and the other one being a huge event that happened last Friday. We're gonna talk about the first look first briefly. So we had our first look at ba- Baz Luhrmann's Elvis movie, which he put on his Twitter. We got our first look at. Um, Austin Butler, I think he was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, who was playing Elvis. Tom Hanks is also going to be in the movie, but we didn't get a first look at him yet. But yeah, I think it looks great. I think it looks very, I think it looks very good. Could be a great movie. Could be, meh, could be fine. Maybe, maybe, it's a little early to call this, but maybe Butler can get an Oscar nomination if the category is not so crowded, but I'm... Too early to call that. The movie doesn't come out until June twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. So we have, we have a little while to wait. And then we had Disney Plus Day, and there's the Buck the Buck Wild trailer, or which just looks very meh. The animation looks terrible, but looks fine, I guess. The voice acting was also not that good. And Crash and Eddie, I hate I hate them so much. And they're going to be in it, so... Yay. The Baymax trailer looks cute. And then we, and I watch all the MCU stuff. I didn't get to watch any Star Wars stuff. I only watched the MCU plus those two Disney... Also, I watched the trailer for Sneakerella, which is basically a Disney Plus movie, but meant for, like, Disney Channel or something. It, look, it looks abysmal. Could be the worst movie of next year. Who knows? Anyway, She-Hulk looks mediocre. Miss Marvel looks bad. I'm not really excited for Miss Marvel. And Moonlight, Moonlight looks good. I'll, I'll give that. I'll give the MCU that Moonlight does look pretty good. But that's pretty much it. Now we have to get into our main trailers. We're we're definitely we're saving Spider-Man for last. We're not talking about that first. We're gonna talk about Downton Abbey, a new era first. Yeah, every British person's favorite TV show. But yeah, I'm not familiar with the directors of the movie, nor the cast, or the names of the cast. Oh no, Maggie Smith is, and I know who Maggie Smith is. And this is a sequel to the 2019 Downton Abbey movie, which was also a movie, a movie of based on the TV show Downton Abbey. But yeah. For the, f- I haven't seen the first movie, nor have I watched the TV show. Oh, but it looks fine, I guess. I can't get too excited for it because I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen the movie, but it could probably be fun. It could probably be good. But I think that I think the costumes look good. The production design looks pretty good. Performances don't really look that mind blowing to me, but they could still give decent performances. Really, the only thing I watched Downton Abbey re- related was like the trailers for the first movie, as well as the recap that that uh, Jim Carter, who plays the, the Butler character, and the actress who plays the head maid, I believe. I don't, I don't even know. Oh, her no. Her character's name was like her. I know her character's name was a uh, Mrs. Hughes. I know that. And then Jim Carter, who plays the butler, they they like recap the entire series before the movie came out. I watched that. Being someone who haven't watched the show. And yeah, it's basically like there's a lot of tragedies, a lot of characters. There's characters who like die and stuff. I'm not gonna say who, but. <laughs> I'm not overly familiar with the source material, so I can't really get too excited for this movie yet. Then we have Pixar's Turning Red, which is directed by Domi Shi, who directed the outstanding short Bao, and also it stars Sandra Oh, among other people. Unfortunately, I hate to say this for a Pixar movie, like, I hate to say this. 
it doesn't look that great. It looks very mediocre. I'll give it that the animation looks nice. The animation does look good. That's expected with Pixar. But nothing else really impressed me. Mei Mei's character looks kind of, kind of unlikable to me. She was very unlikable in like the beginning of the trailer. I could, did not. I could care less. It. I think maybe if I watch the trailer a few more times, I might like it a little more. But I I'm not the biggest fan of that trailer. Uh, or maybe Sandra O oh can give a good perform a good voice performance as. The Karen mom. Yeah, her mom's basically a Karen. On the first trailer, her mom was, like, watching her outside while she was in school. It's like, oh, my God. Uh, I thought the teaser was better. Or I'm still a little bit excited for the movie, but this trailer did not prove my excitement for it at all. Uh, the Pixar movie's coming out next year. It's not even a competition, which one I'm more excited for. Obviously, Lightyear. And then we have American Underdog, which stars Zachary Levi as uh, Kurt, Kurt Warner, who is a quarterback, an uh, NFL player. I, I think he was a quarterback as well. Also, Anna Paquin and Dennis Quaid are in it. And I think it looks good. Nothing else to say about besides the fact that it just looks good. Nothing great, nothing spectacular, nothing abysmal, nothing bad. It just looks like a good movie, an underdog story. I like underdog stories, and I like football movies. Fair one being Remember the Titans. But yeah, it looks like a good movie. Zachary Levi looks like he can give a good performance. Don't really have much to say about that trailer. And then we have Don't Look Up, which is directed by Adam McKay and stars... Too many people. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Blanchett, Tyler Perry, Rob Morgan, uh, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Ron Perlman, Timothy Chalamet, Ariana Grande. A lot of ca- a lot big cast, big ass cast. Uh, and it's a but Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence are the leads. I think this movie looks pretty good, honestly. I think it looks funny. I think I think the jokes were funny. However, I think the movie could get repetitive. It's like, oh, Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio are warning these people that an asteroid is going to come and destroy Earth, and these people are not going to believe them. And also, I do not think I'm going to like Jennifer Lawrence's character at all. Her character looks very annoying, extremely. But I'm still going to give the movie a shot, and hopefully I like the movie. I'm, no, I'm, I am excited for it. It's just... It doesn't look amazing. And then you waited all along for this trailer. Spider-Man No Way Home, directed by John Watts and stars Tom Holland, Zendaya, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Willem Dafoe, Alfred Molina, Jamie Foxx, a lot of people, a lot of people. And I think it looks amazing, honestly. The action looks cool, the visuals look amazing. It's going to be great seeing all those characters. Sam and Lizard are also in the movie. And also, people are saying... Also, they edited Toby and Andrea. I can tell because in the trailer, the last shot, Lizard gets an invisible punch. It's pretty obvious, like, Andrew Garfield is, like, punching him. He's punching Lizard, so... I can't wait to see his performance in Tick, Tick, Boom, by the way, this weekend. But, yeah, maybe they didn't, though. I don't know. But I'm getting more confident that they're in this movie. I think it looks outstanding. It got me super excited. I'm definitely excited for this movie. It's not my most anticipated movie anymore because I think I thought the comedy didn't really work that much. But maybe the comedy is going to be better in the movie. I don't know. But but taking back what I am excited, more excited for West Side Story. But this can this could be a great film too. But yeah, that is episode 6 of Christian's Trailer Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.